Some months ago, I did a video here on how to set up one of these fine Zidu Z10 Pro 4K media players. And this is mine. I bought it to replace a popcorn hour. And it's been working great for the last bunch of months. It plays everything I throw at it except maybe some old AVI files. Occasionally it stumbles on those. But otherwise, it's been great. But if you have one of these, you may get sick of looking at these images all the time when you leave the box alone and it goes into the screensaver. And the question is, where are those images so that you can change the darn screensaver? And it may be obvious to some of you Android people, but it wasn't to me. So this is a quick video note on how to change the screensaver to be less annoying, at least in my opinion. The key thing to know is that on a lot of ordinary Android devices, the screensaver is run by a program called Daydream, and that's the case with the Zito as well. This means if you navigate into the media center and go to the device list on the left, and then get into the device called storage, which is a small flash partition built into the Zito's main board, you'll find that if you navigate to the bottom of the list of folders in there, that there's one called ZD Daydream for Zito Daydream. Open that and you'll find the screensaver images are in there. Then you can just delete them and replace them with something more to your liking. In my case, I made a 4K black screen with the word Zito in small purple letters in the corner as I wanted something minimal. A bonus is that the word throbs a little bit as the Zito cycles on this single image file over and over with the daydream continuing to do the quick uh, fade outs and fade ins it would if there were multiple images in there. I'll link to my file in the description if you want to use my image on your device. Uh, Daydream reads the contents of the ZD Daydream directory once when it goes into screensaver mode and does seem to cache the image file content somewhere so you can't reliably update an image and keep the file name the same and be sure the Daydream will pick up the changes. The only reliable way to force an update is to change the name of the image file. I couldn't find any UI for Daydream on the Zidu. On a lot of Android devices, the UI for it is buried in settings, but the only screensaver-related control in the Zidu settings is how long the system needs to be idle before the screensaver starts up. Daydream on other devices can show a clock and play movies. I, I don't know if you can get either of those things to happen on the Zidu or not. Leave a note in the comments if you're smarter than me about that. Anyway, hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.